Hi, my name is Chelisea, pronoun she, her, hers, and I am with UW Stout's Office of Research and Sponsored Programs. This video is part of ORSP's FAC 5 series, where we answer students' questions about doing research as part of their education at UW Stout. Joining me is Tina Lee, a professor in the Social Science Department in the College of Arts, Communication, Humanities, and Social Sciences, otherwise known as CASH. So welcome, Tina. Thank you, thanks for having me. And I also use uh, she, her, hers pronouns. So today, Tina and I are going to answer a very common question. Isn't research just for STEM majors? And the short answer is an emphatic no. All the projects listed on this slide are examples of stout student research from both CASH in blue and also the College of Education, Hospitality, Health and Human Sciences in black. And these research projects were featured in the 2021 Journal of Student Research. And of course, there are many, many other examples of research going on across the campus. But I hope this slide gives you a good idea of the diversity of, of things you can be doing. So Tina, I know that you have served as a faculty research advisor for Stout students in the past. So can you tell us a little bit about those students' projects? Sure, so I've done tons of them over the years, so I won't obviously get into all of them, but I'm kind of going to break it down into kind of a few categories of types of research that you can do and just give a couple of examples of each so you can see the diversity. So one kind of project that often um, happens outside of STEM fields is using existing social and economic data. So using census data, sales data, sales tax data, those kinds of things. And we've had students do projects to answer questions like, um, does where highways are placed, does that inf affect uh, local communities and their economic activity? Um, or do voting restrictions um, impact voter turnout among certain kinds of voters? Um, we've had students do survey projects where they ask either fellow students or members of the community their opinions and thoughts about a variety of issues. So we've had students work on projects like um, you know, does did the COVID pandemic um, impact students' mental health? Do voters care about gerrymandering and does that affect their voting behavior? Um, students also often do interview projects where you sit and get more in-depth information from people. So we've had students do projects on how sexual assault survivors felt supported or not by local community resources or on the experiences of youth who've worked in climate change movements. Um, we've had students do observational projects where they, um, you know, observe in clubs or observe, you know, everyday behavior, including a really interesting one where the student wanted to know more about people's views of personal space. And so she would, she ran a kind of experiment where she would go sit down like right next to someone in the MSC and, and see how they reacted. Um, we've even had history projects. So you can use archival material um, either from here on campus or from other members, other places in the community. So we've had students work on the history of juvenile justice or what archaeological finds tell us about Viking trade in the 13th century. So you can do a really huge range of things. And what do you usually tell students who are considering doing a research project while at Stout? Yeah, so if you are, are thinking about it and thinking this might be interesting to you, go for it. Um, these skills that you're going to build are really, really helpful when you're going out on the job market and having undergraduate research under your belt is a good selling point when you're trying to market yourself um, as you graduate and try to find that perfect job. Um, pick something you're passionate about and then be prepared to sell the skills that you learned from that. You're going to learn project management, how to adapt and be flexible, how to deal with adversity, uh, communication skills, data management skills, you know, all kinds of things that employers are really looking for. So if you have the chance, um, you know, go for it. I know that we also want to emphasize that there's different types of research projects that students can do. Um, there's four up here on the slide. For the faculty student collaboration option, what, you know, what should students who are interested in, in collaborating with a faculty, what should they do? How do they even know like who to approach and, and when to do that? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing is just think about who you've taken classes with. 
um, who might have an interest in the topic that you're interested in. Um, if you can't think of anyone, ask your advisor, ask the folks in the Office of Research and Sponsored Programs, and, and they can help you sort of connect with someone. Um, but if you can find a faculty member who shares the interest in the broad topic or area that you're interested in, when you approach them, just make sure that you have kind of a clear idea about what project you want to do, what the faculty's involvement will be, um, the timeline, your plan for the research. So the better prepared you are, then the easier it will be for a faculty member to, to jump in and help you with it. Um, and then if they're not the right person, they can you know kind of send you to someone who might be a better fit for your project. So don't be scared to ask faculty to do this kind of work with you. Most of us really um, love it and enjoy it. And if we're not able to, we can always help you find someone who is able to help you. Absolutely. Well, I think that's our time. So I just want to thank you, Tina, and all of you for watching. And we hope that you will reach out to ORSP through any of the channels that you see here on the slide. Thank you. Thanks, Chella.